Kitchen. So last week we learned how to do the groom figurine, the cake toppers, and now we have all these gentlemen in here waiting, very patient. <laughs> this week we're gonna learn how to make the ladies, the bride, the process to make the faces, the hands, the arms, is all the same. But there is a little bit of difference on the dress. The bride will tell you what she wants. She will send you a picture of her dress. Of course, if it is a very poofy dress, you will need the styrofoam. It's too much fondant to put it inside just to create a dress and quite frankly nobody's gonna eat it there. I recommend for you to get your hands on the cone, get a little foam cone because then you can cut in any shape you want. If you're gonna leave it just as a puffy dress you can just leave it round like that. This one in fact you you can even model it so you can get your stainless knife and start modeling your dress to create different angle would be her little bun and then you create all oh, any kind of the design you want usually round shapes like that I just like to roll up a little piece of thin paper and I just go around I will show you how to do a dress without a styrofoam this is old fondant that was already on my bucket the bucket was already open so the fondant is a, a little bit more firm I'm going to do the bride sitting down I don't need too much tie loose in this process because there's not much gravity there and I make a ball just so I can take all the wrinkles everything and then I'm gonna roll my fondant to create a sausage a very big sausage let's concentrate on her waist and then let's say it will be a strapless dress you can also add lines to your dress just with the skewer you can add waves to your dress you simple is that let's say you want to open the bottom of your dress with the bowling tool you can just open you're not going to be showing her legs, nothing. Very conservative dress. So if it's standing up, you're gonna put the skewer right there through the middle. If she's sitting down, then you have to make her on the sitting position. So you're gonna flip the dress down, make her sit there, just with your hands like that. And then of course, the skewer goes through the top all the way down, opening even the, the bottom of the dress if you want. Just with your finger, you can uh, open the end of very naturally and don't forget to, to add your glue to your skewer put a little bit of Tylos glue there I do have a thin plate like I say to you of exactly the size that it's supposed to be so as this is a strapless dress we cut it right there the upper body of our bride very simple you get this skin color component a ball and then what you're gonna do is we're gonna mark where the neck is so I'm just rolling just like that. We cut the excess. And then all you have to do is get uh, through your skewer. Roll, 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 roll. So everything has to have glue, all right? So, so don't forget to add your glue. Put the glue there. I really don't like big, long necks. And if you if you need to cut more of the neck, you cut more of the neck. At the moment, she looks very happy. Now, because of the strapless dress, her arm will be showing. The way we do the arm is very similar the way we did the groom. Always, uh, when I'm making the brides, I always like to make her arm very skinny, you know? A bride is much delicate. And you put your sausage there on your template cut it there so the difference in here is so this was how our black piece was with the groom but with the bride is you just flat the end of that sausage exactly like that and then you cut the fingers off like we did the little hands for our groom and I will cut her little fingers you have to count her right? don't don't add the extra finger to the bride <laughs> And then using the bod, um, bowling tool, you make the combos right the center of her hands and turn between your fingers. Hello, everybody. So again, like we did with the groom, you take a little bit of the top because I really don't want to just bride to have a massive shoulder. It's very delicate. And then I'm going to give the little pinch for her elbow. Very little. I can even twist it between my finger. And that's it. 
is a little hand there and then we put it there in position. You can choose what your bride is going to be doing, if she's going to be holding the bouquet, if she's going to be holding hands with your groom. I'm going to make the other hands. Sometimes one of the hands you don't really see because it's under the bouquet. So let's say she's going to be holding her bouquet. So you just put a, make a teardrop and put it right there under her arms like that. If you put a little bit of glue there and then you start inserting the flower. And I like to use these uh, centers of uh, roses in any small cutter that you have with any flower you desire to put on. I open very thin on my cast machine, but with the little flowers, little bit of glue. I, I cut the point of my skewer to pick it up my flowers and then I just start adding my little flowers there. I can add different colors too to make more colorful. But this is a very romantic bride to what I have absolutely no intention to keep her very romantic because this is a Halloween theme but I'm just showing you how easy it is just to keep adding the flowers to her bouquet so we're gonna make the hair just show you very quickly but it's basically very similar how we did the boys hair but uh, Remy asked me to do a blonde and so I just mix to my white gold from American color really like it is gold because it's a very natural blonde it's not too yellow too orange open on the pass machine Cut a circle I will add it to her scent over her head put the glue everywhere there and then I, I put it there and now uh, on this way like you can start from the top depends on what, what design is her hair you know um, you can start from the top if you want and bring all the way to the back and just cut the excess you, can, you could even twist it like that look just by twisting like that so I bring all the way and I push it like that make a, a cone and you could even have a design like, just like that and then add the lines but I'm cutting the excess I'm going to add a separate piece like that so I can cover the shoulders so you don't see the shoulders from the front I will cut it just little pieces of triangle like that you can add the line and then a little bit of glue and then you start adding the fringe or the waves whatever is the position you wanted to do and I will keep working on that until my bride look very happy. Now we're gonna cover this styrofoam to do our bride staining up. I carve my styrofoam. Yeah, like I said to you, you could cap to the corner just like that and cut it where her waist is. Or you can carve around and do any shape you want. On this one, I did a very simple carving. I just carved a little bit here, a little bit here to create her bun. So if you can see, she her bun is almost on the same high as her groom. And that will be her waist. And I put the skewer through. I like it to leave the uh, point up Let, let's leave the point up like that it should be more center so. that's the hardest part is to get to the center you are very welcome to put a hot glue if you want because you see just the tireless glue will not keep it just in position so if you want to put a little dot of hot glue on a skewer you're very welcome I'm not going to keep moving this figurine too much around so I'm putting glue tireless glue I use tireless glue for everything and then I just get my fondant and I'm going to wrap around this dress and I track everything to the back just like that and then with the scissors I'm just gonna cut the excess right there at the back scissors or even your stainless knife you can just cut the excess so you have to decide too how you're gonna finish their dress there on the back if you're gonna have a tail if you want a tail tuck it into the back and cut the excess and the upper body of the figurine staining up so she is a skeleton you know uh, you can decide how much he, uh, if you're gonna give it a breast for her but remember how we did the, the groom's body upper body that's the way I'm intending to do her I may give a little bit more the weight Thing I did for the main. I put her hair top part like I did with the other bride. We put the head on. For this bride, I will give her a veil to put it right on top of her face like that. Look at that, how gorgeous. Let's do the arms. So 
So after finishing her bouquet, I'm just gonna put it her veil. And uh, because this head is very dry, I'm gonna have to put a little dot of hot glue there. Oh, it's so romantic! lovely capsules in here. I hope you learn a lot with that. They are very simple to do, a lot of fun to do. They add a lot of smiles to a cake and uh, start conversations so you can really really explore and do so many things with your figurines. Thank you so much for following because that's what it keeps us going and keeping us motivated to keep it going and make more videos for you at home. Thank you, bye! The best thing to clean your hands after a really hard day of work, especially when you're working with black fondant, is Solvo. It cleans everything. Ta-da! High five! <laughs>